Well, it's 31 years since the Champion Stakes was first run here at Shelburne Park. It became an instant success, and we've had some fantastic competitions over the years. This year's event, sponsored by Boyle Sports, is a real prelude to the Boyle Sports Irish Derby coming up in eight days' time. And we have a high-class field for the final tonight with the favourite, Whoops Jack, after doing two brilliant runs here over the last two weekends. So now the runners going on parade for the Boyle Sports Champion Stakes, and in trap one here is Drive On Tip won by Larry O'Rourke and trained by Graham Holland. Very well drawn in trap one is the son of Drupi Scalari and Mahan Patient. Number two then, good news. Trained by Pat Gilfoyle for Sandra Gilfoyle and Mary Kennedy, a son of definite opinion and Pippi, a finalist in the Scottish Derby. And he's a dog with real pace. He's the second favourite in the betting. Number three then, JT Yankee. Trained by Paul Hennessy for John Turner, young dog, he ran very well in Towster, and he's here now having won last weekend in brilliant fashion this son of Drubby's Jet and Basket of Trumps. Number four, Cool of Annie Mason, a finalist in the Scottish Derby, runner-up indeed, and then a semi-finalist in the English Derby. He's had a lot of racing this year, this fellow. He's owned by Austin Whelan and Beverly Lockett. He's the son of Aero Majestic and Little Flutter, trained by Pat Buckley. Then in five, we have the favourite, Hoops Jack. Trained by Peter Cronin for Larry O'Shea, a son of Jack's a gem and whoops a daisy. A brilliant turn of early pace, this fellow. If he gets his break, he'll take some stopping. In six, then, we have Kilgraney Ace, another early pacer, owned by Tom Buggy and trained by Tom. This son is Kalari Medaddy and Kilgraney Poppy. He's won 12 of his 32 races, and it doesn't take defeat easily. In one here is Drive on Tip, two Good News, three JT Yankee, four Cool of Annie Mason, five Boops Jack, and six is Kilgraney Ace. Here now coming around the bend, up behind traps, ready for off. And away they go, and Hoops Jack is out well from five. So is three JT Yankee racing to the bend, and it's Hoops Jack just leading. But there, JT Yankee takes the corner, and JT Yankee goes a few lengths up into the back from Hoops Jack in second. Then comes two good news, but it's three JT Yankee out front by a few lengths from five Hoops Jack around the third bend, and JT Yankee. And looks to be on his way to victory here. He's three in front. Turning for home is JT Yankee, the youngster of the race. He's going to win another champion stakes for Paul Hennessy. He's the winner. Second is number five, Hoops Jack. It's close for third. The time is 29.58. And so the result of the 2017 Boyle Sports Champion Stakes. The winner, number three, JT Yankee, owned by John Turner and trained by Paul Hennessy. Second, number five, Hoops Jack. And third, number two, good news. The time, 29.58. So that's a great run from JT. He's only the youngest dog in the race. How did you come across him? Um, Paul found him for me, actually. And um, it, again, he, he did a great trial. And uh, Paul said, look, we spotted this dog. And um, we were lucky to get him. So, like I said, it was, it was a great final. Load of great dogs in the final. So it's just, you know, it's nice to win, you know, when you're against such a great team. You know, I really appreciate the sponsorship from Boys Sports. And, um, and like I said, looking forward to coming back for the Irish Derby. And uh, hopefully... Have another, have another good run. Tonight was uh, Boyle Sports' first sponsorship of this uh, event and they're going to be doing it for the next three years, is that right? Yeah, we sponsored uh, the Boyle Sports Now Champion Stakes and the, the, obviously the Irish Ground Derby starting in a couple of weeks, so that's the package we have at the moment and it was a great first first year to be involved in it and I'd like to think that we'll be here for many, many more years to come and especially building up into the next couple of weeks with the Derby, I, I think it was a perfect teaser building up to it. Yeah, it's a great lead up to the Derby and what, if, what dog have you installed as your favourite? Well, after tonight, Claire's Rock would definitely be the favourite. Um, Scintillating performance, 29 30, his first run back at Shelburne since the English Derby final. So he's the one they'll all have to beat. I don't think there's any debate about that. Um, he's as fast as Greyhound has risen the country. And when he does things right, like we saw tonight, he's going to be a very, very hard dog to beat. I'd imagine he'll be about 8 or 10 to 1 after tonight's performance. But um, yeah, Monday week now for the Derby draw. I can't wait. And it's the start of a, a, long, a long couple of weeks, but we look forward to it.